Hey guys, it's no 2 guy here with another GTA 5 video guys and today in this video we're upgrading the brand new HVI APC guys. As you see here, it's beautiful. The military vehicle that came out in the gun running DLC recently in Tuesday's update. Pretty much in this video guys, we'll be upgrading it in my MOC, Mobile Operations Center over here. And then we'll give it a little test around the city and see how actual good this vehicle is. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Loading in boys, takes forever. And here we go. First of all, we're going to buy armor upgrade obviously. Get this thing 100%. Get our brakes on it, engine, horn, got to be a truck horn. It's an APC. Jeez, has to. Lights, Xeon lights. Livery guys, this is the fun bit. Sadly guys, all these liveries are the exact same, so you can all buy them. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use one of the non-locked ones because I probably could buy them all if I really wanted to with the research but I'm just going to use ones you guys could get as well to show you how good yours one could look default. So livery wise I honestly don't know what I want to choose with this thing. There is some quite cool ones and I probably will use different ones on all my vehicles. I do quite like the Zincudo one though as you see here. I will go Proxy mines are pretty cool guys. That pretty much makes your car drop bombs when you honk the horn. That is cool. The majority of the vehicles from this DLC can get them. I feel like we should maybe actually put the APC silver. Green does not look good. Nah. Looks like a military car wannabe. Jeez. There we go. Like a silver color. Quite like that. <laughs> he doesn't know if he's scared or turned on. Fair enough. Get some turbo on it. <laughs> Oh, the gun guys, pretty much you can have a default, this tank cannon, which does five sticky bombs worth of damage to any vehicle you hit with it, and it's beautiful, but it only has 20 bullets. The SAM turret is pretty much the vehicle trailer type weapon on top, but yet again, it's limited by only having 20 bullets, but it is really good for taking out Hydras, as it's kind of like the Ruiner 2000 style missiles, they're really fucking godly. So there we go, out we come. I think this also costs like... Two point summit mill, maybe three mil. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That's pretty much how it looks, and I quite like it, honestly. I like the silver. It really does look nice, but it goes with the outfit I'm wearing as well. So let's get this thing outside and check how it is. Oh, God. Loading time again. It's the worst thing. We need to sort that out in GTA, definitely. It takes too long. Bang, and we're out, guys. So, okay, it's reasonably fast. Considering this vehicle, okay, maybe a car guys, but it also doubles up as a boat. This thing can float on water, which I find beautiful. Here we go. Okay, so we can drive over cars as well. That's good. That's good. We float on water, we drive over cars. We have a godly cannon that can one hit a tank. It does five sticky bombs worth of damage, guys. Five. One hits tanks. Okay, and if you're a driver, as you'll see here, you just push right on the D-pad. And you can switch to it, but your vehicle must be stationary, so it can't be moving, it has to be sitting still. But this gun is beautiful, guys. It shoots relatively quickly, not too bad, but yet again, only 20 bullets, so you don't want, you kind of want to use them wisely. Just drive it on in. That's, that's the first person view, you actually don't get an interior first person view, sadly, guys. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. Please remember to leave a like, guys, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys.